What's up everybody? Welcome back to Rick Scale RC. I got some new scale goodies for the brute and also got some work to get done. Let's get started. Alright guys, so I'm going to start with the goodies. I picked up some of these RC four wheel drive scale worn locking hubs. I've been wanting these for a while. I'm going to pop these on. First you just remove your factory center cap and then these replace your lock nut. So just remove your lock nut that holds the wheel on. And then you're going to replace it with the locking hub. And then you also it comes with a tool. That'll go right into the end of your wrench. And then you just line up the pegs with the holes in the locking hub. And you're good to go. They look good. I've already installed the other side. Now that this one's done, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I like to make my front steering links. And I also need to change the bullet connectors on my battery pack. Today I'm here working on the Brute. What I'm doing is, to mock up the truck, I made a front steering link just using some uh, 832 seconds all thread that I had laying around with some Traxxas rod ends. Um, the all thread isn't going to work for me long term doesn't look good one thing you can do with these is you can use quarter inch brake line once you get the length figured out measure the distance between these two cut a piece of quarter inch brake line take your rod end off slide the brake line on put your rod end back on and uh that'll make this look pretty good that's actually how i made the links the, the four links um for the brute but for the steering I want to do something a little different like I said the uh, the quarter inch for a steering link I think just looks a little bit too big um, for you know upper and lower links I think the quarter inch is fine but up front the quarter inch just looks too big so what I'm doing here is I'm using solid 3 16 round steel rod what I'm doing is I'm drilling the end of it and then I'm tapping it with an M3 tap and then then I run some M3 studs I have into the rod end and then that'll also screw in to the end of this 316 solid round rod. And then I end up with this which is really clean look. So so off camera I've already done one end of it. So now we're going to do the other end. I've already figured out how long I need it. You know, I've already set these up and figured out how long I need it to be. So that's already figured out for me. Well, not for me, but I've already got that figured out. So all I got to do now is get the end of this drilled, tapped, and then we can get that rod end on and get it installed on the truck. So the first thing I want to do before I drill this is I'm going to lock it down in my vise. And you're going to want to make sure it's nice and square because otherwise you're not going to drill into it square and that's not going to be beneficial to anyone. I'm just going to throw this in there and use my metal ruler and try to get it as square as I possibly can. So I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and lock it down nice and tight. Okay. 
to prevent my drill bit from walking, I'm going to center punch this. Alright, that did move a bit, so I'm just going to double check, make sure it's still square in the vise. Yeah, it went down a smidge, but it's still straight up and down. So we'll leave that. All right, let's go get this thing drilled out. I'll see you guys out at the drill press. Okay, so we got both ends of the 3 16 rod drilled and tapped. I went ahead, screwed in the M3 studs on both ends. Now all I got to do is screw on the rod ends. And there we go. One front steering link out of solid 3 16 rod. Alright, well we got it all good to go, so I'm going to go ahead and get this thing installed. Okay guys, so we got the battery all finished up, got the ends on the wires, I also shortened the wires. This reaches right to my plug, everything fits in there nice and neat, low profile, lid shuts good, I'm happy. We also got the uh, scale hubs installed, the worn hubs from RC 4 wheel drive, you guys seen that. And you also got to see how I like to make my front steering lights. By now you guys have seen better pictures than this. So. All right, I'm going to get out of here. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for tuning in. Take care, everybody.